In this video, I'm going to show you how to download, install, and get started with Google Drive for Desktop on a Mac computer. This application allows you to sync Google app files that you've accessed with one of my resources that you've downloaded from TPT or from one of my curricula with your Google Drive. Uh, this free application works with both personal Gmail accounts as well as school and work Google accounts. So I'm at this website here and I'm going to download the free application by kicking, clicking this blue button here. For most uh, Mac computers, the installation software is going to download to the download folder. It's a relatively small file and should only take a few moments in order to uh, download to the computer. Once the download is complete, we're going to go to our download folder and we're going to open the installation software. I'm going to double click the Google Drive for Desktop installation file and we're going to go through the installation process. Once the application has installed to your computer, you'll be able to access it in your Applications folder, which is usually found in the bottom bar of your Mac computer. So we're going to look for the Google Drive symbol, which is found here. So I'm going to click this. So the first thing we need to do is we need to sign in with the Google account to which you want to sync the Google app files that you have downloaded. Um, we want to choose the Google account to where you want those files to go. So um, if you have a school or work account um, or you're working on a school or work computer that doesn't allow you to use this application, I strongly suggest reaching out to an administrator to see if they can download this application onto that computer for you. Um, if your Google or work account is blocking you from accessing this application, see if your administrator can whitelist this application so that you can use it. Um, if you've downloaded one of my curricula, there are tens of thousands of Google app files and there are alternative ways to access those files, but the most efficient and easiest and neatest way of accessing those files is with this app. And so I really strongly suggest finding a way to use this application um, before using an alternative method to copying the Google app files. Another workaround method is to actually create or use a personal Google account on a personal computer um, and syncing all of the Google app files that you've obtained from one of my resources or from one of my curricula. Um, and once those files are in your personal Google Drive, you can then share those files with editor access uh, to your work or school Google account and in that way you'll be able to use those uh, files in their full functionality and in the way that they're intended. So at this point in the installation process we need to sign in with our Google account. So I'm going to click this blue button here and we're going to sign in. I'm going to grant the app access to my Google account and I have now successfully connected my Google account to the Google Drive application. On a Mac computer, you're going to see a uh, icon for Google Drive in the top right portion of your screen. Before we move forward and start syncing files with the Google Drive for desktop app, there's an important setting that we need to adjust in the application. 
So I'm going to right click, I'm going to click the app icon here and then select the gear icon. From here, I'm then going to select preferences. I'm going to select Google Drive and I'm going to change the syncing option from stream files to mirror files. I'll confirm the location, click save, and then restart the application. You're going to be downloading Google app files that are G slide, G form, and G doc files to the hard drive on your computer. And we want to move or copy those files into your Google Drive folder that is now on your computer. That Google Drive folder is syncing with your Google Drive that's accessible in a web browser. So it's really important that we change this setting. If we don't change this setting, you're going to experience errors uh, when syncing these Google app files. So this icon here um, is going to give you a lot of information. Anytime you have files that are syncing with your uh, Google Drive, you're going to see that there. If you have any errors um, in the syncing process, you'll be notified there as well. You'll be able to access your Google Drive um, application in the application folder. And when we go to Finder, you'll see that a folder has been created for you in the favorites. This folder right here is going to basically be a link to your Google Drive. Anything that we download from my curricula or from my store um, that has Google app files, we are going to want to copy and move into this folder here which will then appear in the Google Drive in a web browser. So let's demonstrate this process with one of the resources uh, from my Teachers Pay Teachers store. We're going to use my free unit of Google Classroom, uh, Google Classroom lessons to demonstrate how to use the Google Drive for Desktop app on a Mac computer. So all of my Google Classroom lessons and Google Classroom lesson bundles are accessed using TPT's Made for Google Drive uh, feature, except for this specific resource. With this resource here, we are going to download uh, five lessons as a zip folder. And just like with the Google Drive software, the, um, the, the file is going to be downloaded to the download folder. On a Mac computer, all we have to do, um, so to decompress a zip file is double click the uh, zip file and that's going to expand the contents um, of the folder so that you can see that there are multiple folders and subfolders and files uh, within this zip folder here. You'll notice that there are five folders right here and these folders correspond to five Google Classroom lessons. If I were to open one of these and open and click on one of these files, it will actually open in a uh, web browser. Now you can view this here and um, you'll see that it's in view only format. You're not actually able to edit this. Um, this. This resource is not editable, but students should be able to manipulate the text boxes and these text boxes are not, um, you can't type in them here. This is view only format. And if you wanted to, you could make a copy and add this to your Google Drive, but that is not how I intended this resource to be shared with you. Um, we want to add these files to our Google Drive using the uh, Google Drive for Desktop app. So we have these five lessons here. So I'm going to select these five folders here and I'm going to drag and drop them into my drive, essentially cut and pasting them into my drive. And so now you can see that I've moved those folders from downloads into my drive. If I take a look at the icon, 
I'll see um, the Google Drive for desktop icon up here. I'll see that files are being uploaded to my Google Drive. So let's go take a look at my Google Drive in a web browser. So now if we go to Google Drive in a web browser, I'm gonna see that those five folders that I had just copied or cut and pasted to put into the Google Drive folder on my computer now appear in my Drive in a web browser. And if I click one of these, I'll start to see files populate in here. Now you'll notice that I only see PDF files here. When you're syncing uh, Google app files and PDF files are included, you'll always notice that the PDF files populate first. Uh, it's just because they're smaller files um, and that is a completely normal thing to happen. Um, for this particular upload that we're doing, we only have five lessons and for all of the Google app files to upload, um, that's only gonna take a few minutes. If we're uploading a unit that has 10 to 15 lessons, that can take up to 20 minutes. If we're uploading 10 to 15 units of lessons, that can take from two to three hours. So if I take a look here inside this folder, you'll see that Google app files have actually populated in this folder. And if I click on one of these, we should be able to manipulate this text box as the way the file was designed for you to be able to do. So I hope this video helps you better understand how to get started with the Google Drive for desktop app. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at dsj.elkowitz at gmail.com.